Greetings, folks. My name is Ronwise Gamji, and welcome to Quick and Dirty Roleplaying. In this video, I'll talk about a video game I recently beat that would make for a great tabletop roleplaying game campaign. That game is Yeez 8 Lacrimosa of Donna, developed by Nihon Falcom and published by NIS America back in 2016. The premise of the game is as follows. You play as Adel Kristen, a young red-headed swordsman with an insatiable appetite for exploring various myths and legends throughout his travels. He and his BFF Dogi the Wall Crusher are sailing aboard a passenger ship called the Lombardia, which is traveling from the region of their most recent adventure onto their next destination. Adol is paying for his passage by working as a sailor on the Lombardia, and he has the opportunity to interact with the ship's couple dozen or so passengers. Some time passes and the ship is attacked by a giant sea monster via its squid-like tentacles. Despite Adol's best efforts to fend the creature off, the ship gets smashed and he's washed ashore on the Isle of Seiren, a cursed island that no one has ever come back from. Adol manages to find some, a couple of survivors, with the captain included, and they manage to find a relatively secure cove that would serve as their home base of sorts, which they call Castaway Village. It's up to Adol to find any remaining survivors while he surveys the island in search of a way to escape. Throughout his expeditions, he encounters, uh, rather, he gathers up enough survivors and materials to make the base livable and defensible against raids by the island's hostile, bestial inhabitants. Each survivor contributes to the growth of Castaway Village through their area of expertise, whether it's as a tailor, a cook, a carpenter, a doctor, a coordinator, a blacksmith, a farmer, etc. Skilled combatants join Adol in his expeditions to help him fight off the wide variety of vicious flora and fauna found in the Isle of Saren. As they explore more of the island, they come across actual dinosaurs, the first one being a very large red-scaled raptor. Unfortunately, the weapons that the survivors possess are not powerful enough to deal lethal damage to them, so they do their best to avoid confrontation with what they come to refer to as primordials. Aside from the diverse capabilities of the survivors of the Lombardia, they each have their own distinct personalities and agendas, some of them being very reluctant to help out while others are downright antagonistic. There's even a serial murderer among the survivors, as well as a government official of the Roman Empire that was in pursuit of them when they boarded the ship. Besides primordials, the crew discover the ruins of an ancient civilization as they explore the northern portion of the island beyond its highest mountain peak. Throughout the journey, uh, Adol has been plagued with dreams of exploring this civilization known as the Kingdom of Eternia in its heyday through the eyes of a young woman named Donna Eclusia, the Maiden of the Great Tree. It turns out that, back in the past, uh, Donna was having visions of a sunken passenger ship along with several of its shipwrecked survivors exploring the ancient ruins of the Kingdom of Eternia, which makes her wonder how her homeland eventually ends up this way. Donna assists Adol from the past by planting prayer seeds in areas where travel is impossible for them. Magic users aren't really a thing in the setting's current era so that they can grow throughout time into prayer trees and provide him passage where he had none or to maintain a structure that was collapsed in Adol's era. Eventually, Adol and company come to find Donna in a deep sleep as she is cradled by the branches of a tree. They wake her, but there are gaps in her memory along with a strange red sigil on her left shoulder. It's a mystery as to how and why she managed to stay alive in a state of hibernation for what seems to be thousands of years. She knows of the sea creature that has shipwrecked them and chooses to aid the castaways to discover how to deal with it 
so that they can actually get off the island, though they need to find blueprints to build the ship to get them off the island first. So without spoiling the game any further, that's plenty of the overarching plot of Yee's Nine Lacrimosa of Donna. I bring this game up to provide inciting ideas, or excuse me, enticing ideas for a campaign where PC where the PCs are shipwrecked on an island and have to find a way to escape before they and the remaining ca uh, castaways become dinosaur food. There's the matter of gathering materials and resources so that the castaways can fend off starvation, as well as building up defenses for Castaway Village and producing useful gear to help aid the party explore further out in search of other castaways to traverse obstacles that require large amounts of people and to ultimately find a way to leave the island safely. There's also the matter of morale and dealing with insufferable nobles who think that they're too good to mingle with the common rabble. This should be accentuated when the PCs are interacting with the NPCs back in the Lombardia before it gets destroyed. The PCs can come across remnants of prior castaways, such as pirates and other explorers, and possibly come across some valuable loot that will expand their methods of travel, such as underwater breathing, vine scaling, enhanced jumping, durable sources of light, etc., or resources that can help them get off the island, such as finding a metal that can be used to kill dinosaurs, as well as the sea monster. Though the main objective can simply be to get off the island without getting smashed to bits by the sea monster that was responsible for destroying your previous ship, the GM can expand the length and scope of the campaign by emphasizing the mystery of why Donna, or similar stand-in, has been in hibernation for thousands of years and the cataclysm that led to the downfall of her civilization. Hint, it will happen again in this era if the PCs do nothing to avert it. Again, not necessary, but it is an option. Last but not least, for GMs who are really interested in getting an intimate experience uh, from which to help flesh out ideas for this Jurassic Park meets Gilligan's Island meets dual time travel story to prevent an apocalypse, I would suggest picking up this title on the PS4, Windows, uh, Nintendo Switch, PS5 if you're rolling in dough, or PS Vita if you happen to have one like i do and give it a go on easy normal or hard difficulty depending on your skill level with real-time action adventure games get a feel for the landscape the type the um island's inhabitants the lore and most importantly the wonderful uh, cast of supporting characters uh, the link to the game i'm talking about yees 8 lacrimosa of donna uh, will be in the description if you like or dislike anything in this video please give it a like or dislike and leave a comment keeping it respectful and relevant subscribe if you want to support my channel and if you really want to support my endeavors head over to my patreon and become a member the link is in the description until then folks take care and play to find out what happens